Corporate Marketing Director from Iberostar Hotels and Resorts. Um, anyone that doesn't know about Iberostar, tell us a bit about your collection of hotels. Well, we, Iberostar is a, is a family-owned business. Uh, it's in the fourth generation run now, and we have over a hundred four- and five-star hotels throughout the world. We, are, we have many properties in Spain, Greece, Tunisia, as well as, uh, of course, the Caribbean, which is Mexico, Dominican Republic, uh, Cuba, as well as Brazil. Um, your grand collection is big at the moment. You're expanding a lot in there. Tell us a bit about those hotels, how they're different from the normal Iberostar style hotels. Well, uh, in particular, the grand collection is the new launch that we're uh, presenting right now because we've seen there is a trend for the absolute pampering holiday, the customer who really wants uh, the top of the notch with themed restaurants, with exquisite cuisines, uh, uh, buffets as well as spas, uh, personalized butler servers and uh, this is quite successful. Our first opening was with the Gran Paraiso in Mexico in the Riviera Maya and we've been so successful there, many repeat customers and as well we have two properties of this grand collection in Tenerife, uh, the Berosta Grand Hotel Antelia and the Grand Mirador and the expansion is now going further with the new opening this winter in Punta Cana, which is a lovely uh, resort, of course, in Dominican Republic, as well as in Jamaica, in Montego Bay. And with the global economic downturn, do you find that it's affecting your business at all? And how do you pre prepare yourself to confront the challenges? Well, I think the challenges for the entire industry, because, of course, the, uh, the situation right now is... Uh, more than anything very uh, insecure. Uh, of course, as a hotel business, we are very much uh, working together with tour operators. We've been having all our success has been based uh, to a great extent on a close relationship with our partners. Uh, and I think that is very important, uh, the partnership uh, in the trade. We need good travel agencies, we need good tour operators, and we need good hoteliers. Having said that, the airline sector is of course affected as well and there are some things that are difficult to, uh, to make any pronostic. Uh, in any case, the, the holiday sector, the, holiday, the tourism trade has been fairly solid even in past uh, downturns. Uh, holidays are no longer a luxury item. It, is, it has established a need for the consumer. Uh, stress in industrialized companies is going up and people do need holidays to escape from, uh, from this activity. And therefore we feel that we probably will have to very, work very hard. We might also have to take into, into consideration uh, more last minute trends just for, the, for waiting and seeing. But, it, uh, but generally speaking, people uh, do book holidays. There might be shifts in, in terms of category. There might be shifts as well in some of the destinations, changing from long to short or uh, from longer to shorter holidays. But uh, we do think that the general desire, the general aspiration for holiday is there. And as long as people can, they will definitely travel. And the other thing that affected the market, in the, you know, with that on a grand scale is sustainability. Customers now are looking for holidays that not just fulfill their ultimate experience, but ones that work in harmony with the planet. How do you as a group um, fit that need? Well, there's two things that we think are very important for our hotels. Uh, one is, of course, the, the protection of the environment. Um, we are, all the success of our, of our business is based on, on a nice environment and on protecting this, uh, clean beaches and beautiful gardens, etc. So that is one thing that is very important. And we comply with all the uh, latest standards of European legislations, which are the best worldwide. In some countries, of course, we have to comply with the local uh, um, uh, laws. They may differ in standards from Europe, but uh, we are trying to introduce all this up standard and all over. The other point that we consider very important is that there is a trend uh, to more healthy holidays as well. 
in terms of food, for instance, we comply with that with specialist meals uh, on all our fresh buffets. But also uh, we have a lot of activities for people who do not want to just lie on the beach. Uh, it's a kind of uh, soft uh, training. We have a, a program that is called Fit and Fun. And that uh, is guiding people for activities such as Nordic walking, which is particularly very healthy for heart and, and high blood pressure. Uh, we have activities like yoga and Pilates and all this kind of activity which is uh, good for your mind and good for your body. Okay, Heike, thank you very much for joining us today on Broken Travel News. Thank you.